Hello, in this video, I would like to show you how to add the ground wires to our LED drivers. Uh, we have MS610UB, is for the smaller display, uh, 456 of the 15 inch or 17 inch. This MS615UB is for the 17 up to 22 inch display drivers. So, um, why we need to add ground wire? Because if you don't need ground wire, especially the most powerful one, and my cause in the horizontal lines, the pitch of jumping, or you see a large some interference line. Some some cases you, you may not be able to see the picture at all. I show the sample later on. So basically, first you use at least 16 gauge wire. And for example, this six one MS615UB six, uh, you, you start out here, just just like this one. Okay, you start out here, you start out the ground wire actually to here, or this way, this way. And then you mount the other end to the metal parts. Same thing as this 456UB, you see the can capacitor, the negative one, which is this side, you start out here. Or you can start out for 456 side, you can start out this one too, either way. So this one, ms 610 ub is for smaller uh, display, so you can use a, a little bit thinner. One wire, but still, I would suggest using 16 gauge or, or bigger for this too. All right, let's take a look. I have a quick sample here. Um, let me find out my color bar generator. I show it to you why we need it up. This is a 456UB, okay, and then this is a 15 inch display. I already hook up the controller board. I'm gonna hook it up. So I'm gonna connect the power. See, the picture is jumping, okay. This is minor, it's not. Some of them, even though you, you, you may not see the display at all. And basically, I already started one end to the this 456QB. You, I just use your hand on to push it to any metal part of the screen. See? Disappear. So the interference is no more. But when I remove the ground wire from any part of the screen or chassis, you see this? So you need to ground, add the ground wire. I would suggest that and using 16 gauge minimum. And also I have a sample I want to show it to you. Uh, this is uh, this is actually a uh, harsh display uh, of the metal enclosures. You see this harsh one? Okay, so what we do is that I remove the inverters. Okay, this way is easy, see? I remove this inverters the original inverter, I mount our driver with so far as UB to here. See one end solder to the can capital negative one on underneath that, the other end I connect to the chassis part, the metal part. So that solves the problems. Okay, so whenever you have tried up with the LED kit, um, I would suggest that uh, you know just add a just in case, add a piece of ground wire between the metal part and to the ground of the our LED drivers. Will save you a lot of troubles. Okay, thank you for watching.